tailor-made modular insole prescription form guidelines. Section 1. Order information. Please provide us with the appropriate information to identify your patient and also the clinic where you're ordering from with appropriate order numbers and required by dates. Section 2. Please provide us with the shoe size of your patient and a rough description of the type of the shoe. This includes width or a style and will allow us to ensure that we grind the finished device to fit into this type of footwear easily. Section 3. TaylorMade have a number of different orthotic shells which can be modified according to your requirements. Please specify which device you would like us to modify by ticking the appropriate box relating to your product and its density. Section 4. Orthotics Pro Shell. Please specify which Pro Shell you would like us to modify for your prescription. Pro Shells are available in the hardnesses stated on the form. Please note the three-quarter length slimline shell has an absent flat heel cup and therefore heel cup reduction heights and intrinsic wedges cannot be added. This device is best suited for slimline fashion type footwear and medial wedging has to be added extrinsically. Section 5. Cutouts. Cutouts are a common biomechanical feature of a foot orthoses. These are typically underneath the first or the fifth metatarsal head. Please indicate which type of cutout you would like in this area. Cutouts are designed to reduce the mechanical load through the specified area. Cutouts to the first metatarsal head reduce the compressive forces under the first metatarsal head and reduce ground reaction forces ability to dorsiflex the first ray during propulsion. First ray cutouts can allow the first ray to plantiflex effectively within the device, although these can weaken the arch profile and the inherent strength of the arch control within your device. Cutouts to the fifth metatarsal heads are typically used for a patient with a stiff fifth ray or for patients with significant callosity underneath the fifth metatarsal head. Section 6 Rear foot posting. Please specify the degree of post you require us to add. Medial posts are thicker on the inside of the device and lateral posts are thicker on the outside of the device. An intrinsic post is ground into the shell, an extrinsic post is added to the shell. Research tells us that pathologies relating to the foot pronating respond best with a medial wedge. Extrinsic medial wedges will be constructed of a firm material unless otherwise specified. Section 7, forefoot posting. If you require a forefoot post added into your device, please provide us with the number of degrees of wedge you require. Medial forefoot posts or wedges are typically used in the treatment of forefoot varus and for patients with medial tibial stress syndrome. Lateral forefoot wedges are evidenced in the treatment of perineal tendinopathy, lateral ankle instability, and in the management of plantar fasciopathy. They can also be used for patients who have an unstable medial column which lacks dorsiflexion stiffness or is hypermobile as it deflects the mechanical load away from the first metatarsal head during propulsion, allowing the first ray to plantar flex. Section 8, heel rays. If you require a heel raise on your device, please specify the height of the raise required on the left or the right insole. The raise material is typically firm and will be extended only under the heel. If you require your raise to be extended further forward in the device, please indicate this in section 12. Section 9, additions. TaylorMade offer a a number of additions made to the surface geometry of your orthosis to change the way the foot is loaded. Reverse Mortons. A reverse Mortons is an extension added to the surface of your orthosis which extends towards the sulcus of the foot. A reverse Mortons extension typically passes from the second to the fifth metatarsal head and if required could you please specify the thickness and material that you would like us to use. 
reverse Morton's extensions are used frequently in the treatment of perineal tendinopathy, plantar fasciopathy, and for patients where offloading the first metatarsal head is required. Metatarsal domes. If you require a metatarsal dome, please select which size metatarsal dome you would like for the left or right foot. Metatarsal domes are used to reduce the speed at which the metatarsal heads hit the ground and the duration for which they are loaded. This allows a degree of pressure reduction as the foot is loaded. Once you have selected your metatarsal dome, please indicate which metatarsal head you would like the dome positioned behind. Metatarsal domes are typically positioned 10 millimeters behind the metatarsal head. For ideal placement of metatarsal dome location, a template is required. Arch pad. If you require an additional pad adding to the arch of the device, please specify the thickness of the metatarsal arch pad required and the material that you would like us to make it from. Cuboid pads. If you would like a cuboid pad, please indicate the size and material you would like this made from. Cuboid pads are typically used for the treatment of calcaneal cuboid subluxation and can all be also be used in the treatment of perineal latency. Section 10, top cover length. Please specify the length of the finished device you required, including the top cover. Section 11, top cover type. Please indicate which materials you would like us to use as part of your top cover. EVA is a highly durable material which can be used as a top cover between the shell of the device and the patient's foot. Lunatech Motion has been designed to reduce mechanical shear. Lunatech Motion 10 Shore can be used for patients up to 90 kilos. Patients over 90 kilos who require some degree of shear force management should be provided with Lunatech Motion 20 Shore. Lunelastic is a highly durable, high rubber content cushioning material to be placed onto the surface of the device if required. It is hard wearing and does not tear. Lunasoft SL is a slightly firmer closed cell EVA which provides a highly resilient cover to your finished device. EVA thicknesses are available in two to six millimeters. Poron. Poron is a cushioning material that has been used in foot orthoses for many years. It is available in a number of thicknesses and a number of hardnesses. Please select the appropriate type and thickness of poron you require should you like to use this material. Durafit. Durafit is a synthetic top cover material which has a similar appearance to leather. This material is vegan, highly absorbent, tear resistant and hard wearing. We do not use leather as a top cover as a standard material in our devices. If you would like a leather top cover, please request this in section 12. Section 12 additional instructions. Please use this space to provide us with any more information relating to your patient or specification requirements. If you would like to discuss your prescription with a tailor-made member of staff, please highlight this in section 12. Once completed, please check your prescription for accuracy to ensure we have the information required to manufacture your orthosis. Supplying us with your contact details on the order is always useful in case we have a technical query during manufacture. If you have any feedback relating to this form or requiring advice, please contact us at TaylorMade Limited.